Let's go, um... Hmm. Just gonna trend back up. But I need light! I need light! I don't have the fab enough to build the uh, gasoline lantern. I don't have any oil for the oil lantern. I don't have a lot of batteries for the smart lantern. <laughs> I don't want to keep burning wood. I don't have enough incidental batteries yet. So, what to do, what to do. So many guns, so much ammo. That's first. Unload that ammo belt. Um, Really need to get a, get a few things done here. <clears throat> In progress, clean water. <clears throat> Well, I think I'm gonna have to just bite the bullet and use up some of these batteries. Let's keep working on uh, tailoring. That's a lot of drizzle. <clears throat> So we're tailoring three, one more, and I can put the hiking backpack together, but I'm going to need a ton of leather pieces for it. I don't think I've accumulated enough yet. Should have picked up some more junk food, too. I'm not having any real problem balancing my, my nutrition and junk food needs. Yeah, this, uh, I think this flashlight's terribly inefficient. Grizzle, cloudy, <clears throat> 4 a.m., raining, grizzle, yeah, work. Oh, somebody's breaking in again. Hit again. So, we're definitely not going to get out this evening. Another night gone. <clears throat> Uh, 
So, tailoring four. Now we can check out... Uh, hiking. So, 37 leather patches. I've got 16 currently. Definitely not enough. We knew that was going to be the case. Um, and then I need even more to keep it repaired after that. So, I brought back some leather stuff. I can sacrifice leather backpacks. Uh, the jacket will give me a fair amount, and then we're going to clean up these pants. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, and I'm going to dump that backpack also. Cut it all up. What did we get? 38. Cool. That might give me enough for one repair in addition. So that's what we're making. We're making a hiking backpack. Three hours to build this thing. <laughs> and if we get any failures, we're going to burn up some more of my uh, 17 extra leather. So we may not end up with any extra by the time we're done. Uh, but yeah, 55 storage capacity and 4-4 uh, protection is actually pretty decent. It's pretty sturdy. So when it gets hit, it absorbs a portion of the damage. So that's nice. And then it has two items that you can store in it. Knives and sword, small swords and things like that. I don't think I'll be able to store the spear in there, but um, we'll be able to toss some other stuff in. Maybe the Kopesh will fit. So, that's what we're going for right there. Three hours, it is 8.40. That'll make it 11, almost noon. I won't be too tired, so we'll sleep. Wake up right as the sun goes down again, so that works. We're going to burn a lot more planks, though. Am I almost out? 12 planks, 19 sticks. Probably most of the way through that by the time we get done. Unless I grab the materials and craft in the lights. Uh, I could probably do that. <clears throat> Making backpack, I need... Got the tools. I need uh, thread, the leather, and the long string. So, thread... Ring... And leather. And we'll come right out here to craft it, I think. Yep. Need my sewing kit. Taylor's kit? Oh, no Taylor's kit yet. <clears throat> oh, that's right, I'm not near my table. Um, that's fine. There we go. Where? The hiking backpack. Alright, now we can ditch the other leather backpack. We may chop it up for parts leather later. Not going to need all these extra clothes, so trench coat can go. I'll go with the leather duster, leather gloves, baseball helmets, sneakers. I've got, uh, I think I've got multiple gloves on too, don't I? Get rid of the light gloves. We'll go with the glove liners and the fitted leather gloves. Uh, I shouldn't need the jeans, the t-shirt anymore. Gets us down to 31 encumbrance with a massive backpack on. That's actually a really good number. 30 is about where I like to hover, for the most part. Until I raise my combat skills quite substantially. 30 torso. Head doesn't matter, but 31 torso is perfectly fine. I can fight with that, and uh, I'll toss it off if I'm worried about the backpack taking damage. Um, 18 on the legs is good, and we got nothing on our feet, so we're wearing sneakers. Legs, all we've got is the leg guards and the duster for 18, 75% and 90%. Eh, it's going to let hits through still, so we definitely need to improve that. But that'll work for now. Hunting knife on our hip and our gloves. We've got the elbow pads with the duster on our arms. I don't have arm guards yet. Hopefully we come across some. So that's not much arm protection. 
And then, of course, mouth and eyes. Not worried about head and torso. Ooh, that's all I got on my torso? Yeah, that's not the best, but I'm still mostly in dodge mode. So. <clears throat> Alright, let's uh, ditch a few more things here. Gotta keep all those. Um, where are those? And we did end up with our full patches. We didn't lose any. That's good. Alright, so that's one big upgrade. That one was important. Go for one more level in it. We can uh, put together a light survivor suit if I go five tailoring, six fab, which would be pretty quick to do. But I don't have all the other parts we're going to need for it. We're going to need a ton of Kevlar and all that, and I don't have any of it yet. Or any Kevlar vests or MBR to swap in. Um, so let's, um, we're going to go to sleep right now anyway. I'm not sure I like sleeping without having a door here. <laughs> um, do I have the materials to fix the door? Build door. I don't have the wooden panel for the closed wooden door. No wooden panel here. I tossed all the other panels in. I could take that door down. Actually, I could take a bathroom door down. Let's do that. Come here, wooden panel. While we're here, I guess we'll take both of these out. Alright, I want a new door. Uh, boarded up. Nah. <laughs> Reinforced. <coughs> hmm. Six planks. Wood panel. Nails, hinges. Nah. Alright, so we got our door back. <clears throat> Guess I'll keep the wooden panel out here just in case we need another one later. Alright, we're very hungry and I don't... Well, I guess I do care. We just went from overweight back to normal. We got quite a bit of calories we can go before we're going to need to eat. So I'm just going to let it slide. Um, let's throw more... Premium medical grade. Let's help on those two. And we'll do makeshift on the others. Which I still haven't boiled. <laughs> Must boil these things. Uh, yeah. All right, now we can do a better quality of mixture vintage. Alright, average to good, and we'll throw more disinfectants on the two main ones. Alright, that'll be enough. Off to sleep we go. So nobody visited. Still, still didn't look like we made any progress on the head and arm, even with uh, full bandaging and uh, disinfecting. God, it's so hard to get the health back. Um, <laughs> checking back in with chat here. Tips for a static base when using wander spawns. The biggest tip I can give is 
Well, kind of depends on your experience level. You can do bases inside of a city. It's pretty tough. I've done a few. Fire Station Z, I did one where I was pretty much in the middle of a city. And I converted a uh, fire station into my base. That one went fine, but um, it does take effort. It takes a lot of effort. And, um, I mean, I play with double zombies and half items and a few other things. But um, the main trick is to be vigilant about patrolling the area around your base. Every time before you sleep and shortly after you wake up, make sure you uh, do a circuit around your base area and kill and or lead away any groups of zombies. Um, if you don't do it regularly, I mean like twice a day, then they'll tend to build up and cluster and accumulate and that's when you'll get surprised and get killed. Um, but if you do that for an extended period of time, you can basically deplete the wander spawn point pool and um, you won't have too many of them too near you but if you're in the middle of a city it's a little different it's there's just so many zombies in cities and they wander around in certain patterns but um there are ways to manage it but it does take a whole lot of killing and then a whole lot of um <laughs> reinforcing the patrols and getting rid of the stragglers that have wandered in before they start grouping up into big old huge sections because once they start making noise and gathering that's when they get dangerous Yeah, I can't play without Wander Spawns. It does have its issues, and I grumble about them on occasion, but uh, by by far, the benefits of the Wander Spawn system vastly outweigh the negatives. It does make the game a little harder, but um, without Wander Spawns, a static game is just way, way too easy. I mean, being able to spend five minutes to clear an area and having it be a per absolutely permanently safe base forever and ever, amen? Just too easy. Way too easy. <clears throat> But I don't recommend brand new players play with Wander Spawns. Get, get a feel for the game first. Learn to survive the first three or four days reliably. Then think about turning on Wander Spawns. Because it does dial up the difficulty a bit. Okay, so we woke up and what do you know? It's still raining. <laughs> still raining. Nine o'clock. More rain. Uh, so much rain. Yeah, if you're interested in building a base you have to actually defend <laughs> and have any kind of action at, you've got to turn on wander spawns. There's, there's no choice there. Even then, though, you're, you're not going to get coordinated assaults or anything like that. It's just the occasional thing. Although, if you want to make it uh, make your life difficult, uh, go, go get a tank gun or something and fire it right next to your base. That'll make things exciting. <laughs> <clears throat> Cornbread, <laughs> veggie salad. Yeah, I don't have that much water left. We used a lot of water when I cleaned up those items earlier. All right, we are fully hydrated. Still not worried about uh, calories or body weight or the hunger. Um, I can't let this keep going. We're we're gonna run out of this real quick. So I might get one more night before we have to go get some more wood. Getting a little worried about losing the uh, losing the moon before I get those light amp goggles. Let's do um, finish getting tailoring to five, tailoring fab. Switch the mechanics. I just don't have the light source currently. I need to get fab to five to get the gas lantern. That's probably the bigger bigger thing. Get fab to five real quick. Two levels to go. Then I can do the gas lantern, then I don't have to ever worry about it again, really. So, fab to five, 27 minutes, no plus or minus. Any other better ones? Minus one, no benefits. Nope, that's pretty much the best choice until I go up at least a level. Yeah, good. The more important thing right now. Oh man, it's so slow. I'm going to burn so much wood. <laughs> I have to go 
smash up some more young trees. Yeah, we're throwing long sticks in, so we're, we're out of planks again. Oop, whoop. Oh, 4 a.m. it gets clear. <laughs> 4 a.m. Would there be time? And what does the actual weather look like? Uh, I, I don't think that's going to work. Where would I have to get to? I'd have to get... Oh, wait. This is the one I have to go all the way around, isn't it? Yep. It'd be a total mystery whether or not the, the weather over there... Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I'd be down into rain. It's, it's just a real toss-up what the weather would be like over there. Again, I don't have lights on the bulldozer. I can't drive it in the dark. Hmm. <coughs> yeah, that is that is a long way. I definitely have to drive it. I don't know. I'm 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 partially tempted to make that run. Ah, there's no way I can do that in the dark. Or in the light, I mean. That's just not going to happen. Too late in the day also. It's not enough time. <clears throat> so, it's going to be another gone, or another day gone. Let's, um... Finish burning up the last of these... Uh, it switched from planks to long sticks, did it? That's kind of weird. Alright, let's finish this up. Thunderstorm instantly rolls in. Holy crap, this is taking a long time. Why is this taking so long? What the hell is this book? intelligence of eight to read easily so I'm past that why is this thing taking so long feels like it's 41 minutes how the hell what what wait a minute <laughs> what what the hell's going on oh I'm in the dark here that's why <laughs> that freaked me out a bit I forgot I had moved over a space so I was in the dim light uh yeah it feels like it's taking a hell of a lot longer than 27 minutes per chapter too for some reason Hmm. So I'm only I'm only halfway through. Jeez. Well, gonna, I, I gotta go for it. Finish it up. Regardless of how long it's taken. <clears throat> Oops. And zombie spotted. Which means it's coming after me. Hey there, Tom. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Zombie's going to break my window. I don't want the zombie to break my window. Can I get down there fast enough? I think he's still going to break the window. Come here, you. Get over here. Ha <laughs> ha well, apparently he had died before somewhere and hadn't been pulped. Zombies are just a little too close. Yeah, I guess we'll we'll do what I just talked about. We'll go per walk the perimeter, make sure everything's clear. Ah! 
More damage I didn't need. Where you at, crawling zombie? Hmm. Slavering biter. That's what I don't want to deal with. Alright, so daylight hours. I was trying to finish up my book. Wasn't going well. Getting interrupted rudely. So, there's a... Whoops, wrong book. <laughs> I did the tailoring instead of the fab. Well, alright, we made tailoring five. So, yay. At least we've hit that benchmark. Now, if I can get fab to six... We're pretty much all set for... Uh, oh, I can make the gasling. I can make the gasling now. That's right. What does it take to make this? I forget. Yeah, so, yeah crap. I don't have the recipe for it. Lovely. Um, oh, wait. No, I'm only fab four still. My bad. That's why we're still missing it. 24% to go. Noon. I need to sleep. I need to sleep. We'll eat a little bit. And unfortunately, more of the heavy medical supplies. I just can't get these body parts back to full. I want some chocolate covered pretzels too. <clears throat> I don't got any. I got I got honey lemon cough drops. That's that's what I got. And they're not doing anything for me. <clears throat> Alright, hey look, it's drizzle. <laughs> Time for drizzle. Um how much we got left? Still got some. Finish this thing. Cloudy drizzle. Sunny. Oh, it's 7 p.m. <laughs> Sun hasn't gone down yet. Like sunny. All right, now. Whoops, not fast. Gas. Gasoline lantern. All I need is a bottle. Get a bottle and we're good to go. All right, I can do that. I think. <laughs> Have I brought back any bottles? Last bottle of soy sauce or vodka? Um, let's unload the vodka into the kettle. <laughs> um, I'm not going to use the plastic jerry can anytime real soon. I don't know how many things I'm going to need or how much this holds. Yeah, let's just do the jerry can. It was more important. One hour and two minutes, and our lighting problems will be over. Do it. All right, it's 9-12, and it's clear weather. Ooh, boy. All right, now I need... Well, now I actually need the jerry can not to have <laughs> vodka in it. Um... I'm never going to drink the vodka. I'm probably never going to drink the vodka. I can go get more anytime. I think I'm just going to dump the vodka. Much sacrilege as that is. Let's, eh, let's not mess up that place. Let's just dump it down here. Goodbye, vodka. All right, now we can uh, siphon some... Oh, that's right. This is going to siphon a huge amount of gas. Do I care? I kind of do care. Do I have any gallon jugs? I'm not sure I brought any gallon jugs back. Nope, I don't have a single gallon jug. Hmm. Well, I guess it's not too far away. Good. 
use the lantern. Yeah, let's do that. It's a little, a little fiddly, but um, <laughs> really fiddly. That's three or four reloads. That should be fine. Okay, so now we've got the gas lantern. Yay! That makes my life so much simpler. How many? <laughs> Ten and three. Um, that might be enough. I won't be burning stuff much, except for when I need to cook. So, I'm happy about that. Let's have some more chocolate-covered pretzels, some graham crackers, and some nuts. I suppose I should get something to drink. Should fill. I need to get like a six liter tank. <clears throat> Rip it out of one of these vehicles as soon as I get some mechanic skill. That way I can get some water done up without having to do this constantly. Alright, so progress, progress. Just two more books down. So we made tailoring five, fab five. Part way to six. As soon as we hit six, we can technically make a light survivor suit. I'm not sure what this guy needs. I'm not sure what is best for a sojutsu user. Oh yeah, those are drives fine. It just doesn't have any headlights. But it's 9.30 and we have clear skies. Step one, let's go check the weather. See how clear the skies are. Hey there, fell runner. Oh, beautiful full sky. All right, we got to try to take advantage of that. Hopefully the same is true. We're going to hop in a bulldozer. We're going to go for a ride. <coughs> We're going to drive all the way out, back around, all the way over here somewhere. I'm not sure where I'm going to park. I might park somewhere out here. We'll see. Uh, I'd like to hit the antique store, the two subway stations for more nuts. Hill Surplus, the bookstore, the gun store, gun store, gun store. I'm not real sure why. <laughs> Doc's office, uh, probably not. I need computer skill before I bother heading in there for the most part. And uh, my main target is that hunting store. I might beeline for that first and then uh, go from there. Because as soon as I get low light goggles, if it has any, then uh, we'll be pretty well set. Uh, I gotta kill this feral. Let's. Um... I'll save my mana. Come here, Feral. Run mode. Got him for 35 with a crit. And down he goes. Alright. They're lighter. Pocket knife. Nope, don't care about that. Alright, let's take advantage of this. This is hopefully the last time we'll need to do this. We've got our nifty new hiking backpack, so we've got plenty of volume. Weight is now the issue, not volume generally. I won't often fill up 61 volume before I go way overweight. Uh, let's see. I need to leave. Not picking 17 boiled bandages with me, thanks. Don't need Thorazine. Keep the rest of that. Toss it. Keep it. And gotta keep the rest of those. Let's leave the lantern here as well. Alright, gears. Some of the gears pretty trashed, but it's all just found stuff anyway. So I think at the moment what I need most is the uh, light amp goggles, and uh, I need to find a short fire truck that I can loot a whole bunch of. Uh, turnout gear off of for the uh, Kevlar and or some soldiers I can get MBR vests or Kevlar vests off of. Or both. Alright, vehicle 42 liters is plenty. Battery's fine, of course. Front end starting to show some wear. I guess I should go open the door first. <laughs> Pretty important step. 
Alright, we're gonna bulldoze our way due east to the farm and then cut south. And we're gonna hope the weather holds that whole way. It's gonna suck if it doesn't. <laughs> it's gonna suck a lot. Desperately wanna to get to that hunting supply store. Alright, where's. I guess that's as far out as I need to be since that's as far out as I can see. Yeah, let's turn safe mode on. Oops. Let's not smash into a boulder. Alright, there's the farm fence line. And now we just gotta go southeast quite a ways. Hmm. Random incandescent husk just wandering out in the middle of nowhere. You know, like they do. I am tempted to get out and shoot that thing to death, but I don't have uh, I don't have any skill to uh, dissect the corpse, so it's kind of a moot point. All right, next uh, a little further south of that, another husk. They're everywhere. Uh, this vehicle was... Was that my original electric car? I've forgotten. Why is there a vehicle out here? <laughs> I've, I've totally forgotten. Oh, that's right. That's the one that stopped working after I I got it... I got it... <laughs> all the tires blown off by driving over the spikes from the uh, survivor camp. The spike pits that I didn't, didn't realize <laughs> it had. So, we'll go around that. There's my car. Poor car. I didn't bring... I should have brought the... Um... Right, let's, let's hold on for a second. Let go of the controls. Two more full storage batteries. Damaged, so not the best, but um, two full storage batteries. And some damaged solar panels. Hmm. All right, we know where they're at. If I decide I need more, more power. Obviously, I'd much prefer to have undamaged full storage batteries. Hey there, Albert. Coming to get me? All right, keep pushing east. Come on, weather. Hold the weather. Ah! <laughs> uh, damn it! <laughs> well, <laughs> so much for holding the weather. It's the downside to having to travel so far <laughs> to try to get what you need or what you want. <coughs> Uh, there's absolutely no way I can wander through these towns with all the evolved zombies without uh, vision. No way, shape, or form can I do it. Not when there's things like predators and uh, all the other upgraded zombies. It'll be instantly on me. Damn it. <laughs> I was so hoping it would hold out the whole way. Let's, uh, let's roll south. Actually, can I turn on... Flashlight gives me enough room to see the road by at least. Could keep driving and hope the weather clears up, but God, it's so seldom clear. I think what I'll do is I'm going to head over there anyway. We'll find a spot nearby and we'll wait it out. Even if I have to wait all night and then wait for the dawn and then drive back in the light of the dawn. I desperately want to check that last, or the uh, what I believe is the last local uh, hunting supply stop, hunting, hunting supply store. So we're gonna give that a try. 
Let's see if we can get over there by via flashlight power. Pretty much just northeast. Flashlight's giving me just about the same amount of room, visual range as the uh, moonlight was. It won't take me long to get up there, so we shouldn't burn too much battery power. <laughs> Wonder and hang out at this campsite or get closer. Probably be better to get closer. Okay, so hunting supply store is there. This is a football field. Tons of upgraded zombies. For a while, it was pretty funny. Football fields, when I drove by them, it would be like 10 master zombies in the middle. <laughs> Just mass upgrading everything in the area. Uh, I don't know if they still do that or if that's still what's there. I always thought of them as assistant coaches. <laughs> We're gonna try to get a little closer. I'm worried about stuff seeing me and mobbing my vehicle while I wait. <laughs> if we get too close. I think I better stop here. Maybe get the flashlight turned off. Turn that and stop driving. Alright. Not gonna, I don't have any books to read or anything. I got nothing I can really do other than pass time and hope. I just know for certain if I try to get to that place in the dark through a city, uh, I'll get killed. Already something being pesky. Anybody else gonna show up? <laughs> yep. Damn hit point sponges. Alright, those are the fair game ones that were close enough to see me when I had the lights, the, the flashlight on. Hopefully, now we're clear. Alright, now it's just gonna be random stuff. Um, yeah, I think I will pop back in. <clears throat> All right, let's, uh, let's wait it out and see what happens. Do what? 30 minute blocks? Yeah, 30 minute blocks. Drizzle. More drizzle. More drizzle. Cloudy. Come on. <laughs> back to drizzle. Uh, if I don't get access by like uh, I don't know nope it's not gonna it's not gonna accommodate me oh man so Alternatively, I could I could back off to here, go north through the woods, and then come across to try to get to the hunting. My problem with that is is just line of sight, and uh, there's going to be so much possible stuff in the woods, and I won't see it coming quick enough. I go with a flashlight method everything's gonna chase me I'm not gonna be able to keep ahead of it I don't think <coughs> I can flash and move flash and move flash and move 
My 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 real only worry is feral predators. Damn near everything else I can probably maneuver and get away from. But feral predators are so fast. So fast. Alright, I don't want to waste the trip. We're gonna try it. This is gonna be this is gonna be bad. <laughs> it could be the end of the run right here. I do not advise this, kids. <laughs> if you're watching from home, this is bad tactics. Do not do this. I'm only doing it because of a few few reasons that we've got advantage wise. So <clears throat> one is what I just cast, the uh, synaptic accelerator or synaptic stimulation. So it's going to raise my speed. So we're up to 130 speed, meaning I got more points to spend every round. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna we'll safe mode on <laughs> and instantly get a zombie and another zombie. These guys are pretty close to my vehicle, too. I'm not too thrilled about that. Follow my scent trail up this way, please, zombies. Ah, where are you at, road? There's the road. Sidewalk. More sidewalk. Road. Alright. <clears throat> I guess I can check the antique store. I just about walked into it already. Uh-oh. <laughs> but we're so jutsu. <laughs> Don't show me this stuff now. Um, yeah, let's go to the flashlight. What else is in here? Long dog. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Oh, another acetylene lamp. So, is it real? It is real. Classic medieval sword. In between a light arming sword and the later two-handed swords in size. It requires a larger baldric or scabbard compared to smaller swords. Yep, it's real. It's not one of the uh, replicas. 38 cut and 10 bash with high parry, high blocking ability. Uh, we'll grab it until I have to ditch it because <laughs> I won't use it. What else is in here? A pipe and nothing else. A settling lamp and a briefcase. Alright, that's kind of funny. We've got a Kopesh and a Longsword now. I always find these kinds of things on runs where I've picked a specific martial arts style. <laughs> uh, game likes to poke me in the eye like that. Yeah, but this is the Techno Sojutsu challenge. <laughs> Having those things doesn't help me if I want to stay with the challenge I've just designated myself. Alright, let's try to go get some more nut resupply. Can't ever have too many nuts. Broke two of them, one left. Ah, there we go. Five chocolate bars. Good deal. And some more pretzels. Fruit leathers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A nine nut resupply. And I don't want anything else. We'll go ahead and check downstairs as usual. With the two easy ones at least. Another one. More chocolate covered pretzels. Fruit leathers. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. And some V8. Good deal. Good deal. That's one of two <laughs> side by side uh, subways. Mm, no V8. I don't care. If it ain't V8, I ain't trucking with it. One, two. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, <laughs> and four more meat jerky. Alright, I am chock full of nuts again. 24 volume out of 61 and 63 pounds out of 99. All right, the downstairs ones are empty. <clears throat> ah, I'm going to get dazed. He's going to daze me. The Wienermobile. Hey, Wienermobile. I don't see you very often. Oh, we managed to get out without getting dazed. All right. Re 
Preserve stamina. Don't run. Oh, this is so nervous. Making it go so horribly wrong so quickly. All right, so I got a field and I got a military surplus there. Bookstore there. Do I hit those or do I go straight for the hunting store? <laughs> I got so many things I got to get done that uh, the medieval book's pretty far behind on my list right now. We're trying to figure out a way of making Sojutsu cool. <laughs> we'll see. I might possibly use it, but um, as soon as I can make some pretty decent spears with the Sojutsu combination and some uh, armor, we, uh, we should be pretty good. I'm not too worried about the sword. I'll be able to make that kind of thing pretty quick anyway. Uh, I think this has a back door. <laughs> Mill surplus. You guys suck. What is that? A combat knife up there? <clears throat> combat knife. Um, I don't have a clean one, full strength one yet, so I guess I can go grab that. Let's uh, put it in the hiking backpack. All right, flashlight off. Mill surplus is done. Make it across the street quietly. A little too quietly. I meant the wrong one. I'm at the Internet Cafe. Anybody checked Internet Cafes or LAN centers recently? I really wish they would have a computer book on occasion. It seems like an obvious thing that uh, LAN centers or computer cafes might have a computer book. But um, I've had terrible luck with getting anything useful. Sewing techniques for designers. Is that the final one or is that the mid-level one? I can't remember. I always forget. Unfortunately, none of those are useful. That's a for fun book. Nothing there. Don't care about swimming. Advanced chemistry. That'll be useful eventually. I've already got the do-it-yourself. Reading light? Reading light. We'll take a reading light. I, I can't remember. Do I have that one or not? Uh, nope. Nope. Don't care. Hey, another backpack. Don't need another backpack. Alright, so, bookstore's done. Um... I guess we can go out the back way and try to get back to the street. Alright, no predator so far. A couple blocks to go. I think I'm going to go straight for the hunting store from here. So, intersection, left, and then north. I'll worry about... The gun stores are pretty low on my priority list, so... We'll see if we get lucky and don't have a predator jump on me. Between here and the hunting store. Um, what is this? House under construction? House under construction. These places usually have tools. Or can have tools. Something shooting guns. South? Southwest? Oh, that's the roadblock I know about. Alright, that's no problem. Alright, no sign of any tools. I don't like that noise that seems to be following me right there. Back. A little too close to a horde. What am 
my out. Oh, I don't want to be near the football field either. <laughs> That's not a good place to run to. All right, so now at least I've got a house and a forest I can run into. Swamp, not as useful. What do we got here? Fire truck, fire truck. You got tools, fire truck? You has no tools. And you has no tools. Well, what good are you? One liters of gas, battery, it does have a security system, and it doesn't have to have wheels, so it's no good to me. The long fire trucks are very, very helpful. Just check these back three storage compartments. I want to say, I don't know, 20%, 25% of these fire trucks will have um, something in these back corner storage compartments, and it's always crowbar, halligan bar, shovel, sledgehammer, long rope. I think that's the list. It'll be a group of something within that group. Where are we? We're getting so close. <laughs> so close. We've done it all in the dark. No, I don't want to hear a bunch of zombies. So we're next to the swamp. And I got noise. Yeah. <sighs> Thorny Shambler just hit me and poisoned me. Damn you, Thorny Shambler! <laughs> I was so close! There's a body sight! Ooh, chemistry set. Another sanitizer. This is like, what, the fourth ID, science ID site we've seen so far? I'm tempted to throw my... <coughs> from a flashlight on. I think I'm going to try to get up into this house and then work my way around the intersection the other side. No way am I going into the swamp. Not enough blocking line of sight coverage and really hard for me to move in there. I don't know if Thorny Shamblers have night vision. Whoops. Stop running. I want to get into this house quietly if I can. Get my stamina back. I don't know how long their poison lasts either. Great. Wonderful. It's, it's Occupado. We'll go the long way around and just hope. Damn it. <laughs> it's occupied in every direction. That's too late. That guy's already on me. Oh, it's going to be a gamer basement. And it's going to be... Oh, no, it's not a gamer basement. Oh, it is a gamer basement. Hey, look at that. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> huh. How much experience do I get? So, we have the uh, the vicious ancient red dragon. What else do we have? A couple of novels that are useless and an RPG die and some character sheets or a character sheet. The fighter character sheet. Alright, so empty basement except for the dragon. That's fine. I did did somebody come down the stairs? Uh yep, a tough zombie was coming down the stairs, but I can deal with him in the basement and then recover my stamina. Um not worried about the dragon, by the way. <laughs> We're gonna leave him alone, he'll leave us alone. So let's go ahead and get the spear out. Breath back. Poison's gone. Zombies are dead. Alright. So, for anybody curious, <laughs> this is not an actual monster. This is a uh, paper mache ancient red dragon. It's just a model, not a real monster. A towering, hulking dragon! Tremendous curving horns and shining red scales as glowing maw peeled back in a hateful grimace as its eyes bore into yours. I ain't a fear to you, ancient red dragon. <laughs> it's not broke. It's not a real thing. It's a uh, 
It's a prop. It's a movie prop type thing for the uh, gamer basement. This is where they come to play their games and they have a red dragon prop. It's an enemy because it, they wanted to fool players. <laughs> so, if it was an item, people would know instantly that it's uh, it's not really a, an ancient red dragon. It's just to freak people out. I've shown it a few times. We don't run into it often. <clears throat> the gamer basements are rare enough, and then to get the gamer basement and to get the dragon in the same place, it's fairly uh, fairly rare. So, all right. So we're we're in okay shape still. We took one hit from a thorny shambler. Now we're tucked into this little household here with too many zombies. Um, only a couple of them came down. There were more in here. 